A teenager dies two days after being forcibly restrained by at least seven grown men at a youth facility. One of the staffers fired and charged with involuntary manslaughter tells us he was following his training, he says. You're watching CBS This Morning. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. There is disturbing newly released surveillance video and it shows a teenager being forcibly restrained by at least seven men at a Michigan youth facility. The teenager died two days later. We have to warn you here that the video is graphic. It happened in April in the cafeteria at Lakeside Academy, that's in Kalamazoo, after Cornelius Fredericks threw a sandwich. According to the state health department, he was restrained for about 12 minutes. His family's attorneys say that Frederick screamed out, I can't breathe. Three staff members face criminal charges. National correspondent Jerika Duncan is following the story for us. This is the moment that appeared to start the confrontation. 16-year-old Cornelius Fredericks threw a sandwich in the cafeteria. Moments later, staffer Michael Mosley tackled Fredericks to the ground. Two other men soon joined him to restrain the teen. For about 12 minutes, Fredericks is pinned to the ground. At least four more men came over and appeared to hold down Fredericks' arms and legs and sit on his chest and abdomen. Towards the end of the video, you can see Fredericks go limp. He went into cardiac arrest and died after two days in the hospital. The coroner ruled his death a homicide by asphyxia. He was murdered by in broad daylight. Attorney Jeffrey Figer represents Cornelius Fredericks' estate. When you see five, six, seven grown men sitting on the chest of a motionless child until he's dead, what would you call it? Staffers Michael Mosley, Zachary Solis, and nursing director Heather McLogan were all fired from Lakeside Academy and charged with involuntary manslaughter and second-degree child abuse. And it is not a complete video of everything that occurred. Attorney so Tassi Marcou represents Heather McLogan, who was also charged for not providing timely aid. But Marcou says anyone could have given Frederick CPR that day. When you look at all the evidence, and I'm confident when all the evidence comes in, she will be vindicated. In a statement to CBS this morning, an attorney for Michael Mosley said, Mr. Mosley was following protocol at all times. The reason for the initiation of the restraint was due to Fredericks' threats to children of imminent physical violence. Speaking for the first time about the incident, Zachary Solis says he helped restrain Fredericks and was following his training. What specifically are you taught to do in terms of where you grab someone or how you hold them during this restraint? It starts off at the arms, and then if it goes down to the ground, we were told by everybody that it was a good restraint. When you're restraining someone like that, are you waiting to hear from the person you're restraining that they give up? That is one of the factors. Um, well, the student says he's done. Attorney Donald Sapanis represents Solis. I think the uh, facility itself is, is running for the hills and hiding behind these, these young people that were called upon to do their job. They're not, they're not medical personnel. When you learned that he passed away, what was your reaction? I felt bad for Cornelius. Cornelius Fredericks had been a ward of the state for several years. His mother died years before, and his father lost custody of his son when he went to prison. Fredericks leaves behind four siblings. This institutional violence goes on far too often, and the children are powerless, and they're voiceless, and no one's out on the street protesting Cornelius Fredericks' brutal and ruthless killing. Lakeside Academy has since been shut down and its license revoked. Its residents were moved to another location. Now, in a statement to CBS News, Sequel Youth and Family Services tells us that they operated at Sequel. They said they emphasized de-escalation both with our staff and our students. It is our policy, they say, to only use restraints as an emergency safety intervention. We are committed to making the necessary changes to ensure something like this never happens again. Vlad? Jerika, this is such a horrible story. And to know from your reporting that Cornelius Fredericks uh, had been a ward of the state, his mom died, his father lost custody, and now yeah. he has died because he threw a sandwich. Jerika, thank you very much.
Well, since the pandemic.